Okay, so we're just going to look at a couple of these examples you've just had a go at. So these are a few we're going to have a go at. Um, Sufian, what did you get for the first one? Does this require any scaling? No, because the derivative of x to the power of 4 minus 1 is 4x cubed. So we have already don't require any scaling for that one at all. Um, Anika, what type of thing do you think? What did you consider for this one? And did that require any scaling? No, that one was not going to require. Uh, any scaling at all because the derivative of sine x plus 2 is just cos x that we've got there. Um, Hansa, this one. What do you think this one should be? E to the sine x plus c. Did this one require any scaling? No, because the derivative of sine x is cos x that we've got here. Um, this one, Muhi, what did you get for this? Um, I got 1 over e bracket sine x minus 5 to the power of 2 plus c. 1 over 8. Sine x minus 5 to the power of uh, eight. 8 plus c. OK, so I'm guessing you realized that you had to consider this. You could see that cos x was the derivative of sine x minus 5. So we raised the power to 8. The only thing that we got as an extra when we would differentiate this, you'd get an extra 8. So you have to scale it by an 8. Um, this one that we get here, we should recognize that x squared is sort of the derivative of the bit that's in the brackets. It's not exactly the thing, but it's sort of that derivative that we got there. Um, Ruhan, what did you consider? before? Don't tell me the scaling yet, but what did you consider? Good. And then what scaling was required? Good. 1 over 24. Where did the 24 actually come from? Yep. Good. So you get the 24 from the 8 from the power that comes down and from the 3 of the power of the, of the blah that comes down as well. This one's the only one that's a little bit different. I saw a few people dived in and tried to do this with ln. But actually, if you think about this, the denominator does not differentiate to the numerator. So we need to rewrite this and think about it as x brackets x squared plus 5 to the power of minus 3 then we can consider. What's the thing that we think we should consider? Uh, x squared plus five minus two. Minus to the power of minus 2. Now, if you differentiate this, you would get minus 2 times by 2x, which is minus 2, uh, sorry, minus 4x. And we want it to just be an x. So what does we need to multiply minus by? Four, Good. Minus a quarter x squared plus 5 to the power of minus 2 plus c. Plus c plus sorry? Plus c for the fifth one as well. Oh, and plus c for the fifth one as well. Thank you. So the questions I want you to have a go at um, is 1A to H and then 2ACEGI. We've got 15 minutes. Let's go straight to the boards and get some of these done just to finish off a really good lesson today, OK? Oh, I keep writing the wrong thing, 11.